friends, what is up? So we're getting a later start on today's vlog than usual. Actually, it's about six o'clock right now. Now, I'm not gonna say who, but somebody deleted uh, all of the footage from today's vlog. Again, not gonna say who. So we're starting it now, hey friends. Admittedly, you haven't missed much. I've been on the computer working all day. I've been doing a lot of editing, some graphic design, some writing. I got in a quick workout. I had lunch with my parents. I discussed my absolutely horrendous sunburn that has now decided to start peeling two weeks after the fact. But tonight is where the real fun begins. Actually, I'm getting sweaty just thinking about it right now. I'm trying not to fangirl and already failing miserably. We're going to a virtual movie premiere for Seth Rogen's new movie. I have so much respect for Seth Rogen and Evan Goldberg and like what they've done to, they, they really ushered in a new era of the teen comedy and I feel like they really created their own genre of comedy. Big fans of their work and now we get to see their latest movie, An American Pickle. So huge thank you to Joy and Sam and HBO and HBO Max for inviting us. I believe the movie comes out August 6th so we're seeing it a couple days early and I am so excited to watch it and to celebrate. The virtual premiere party starts in like a half hour and then we're going to watch the movie and then we're doing like a Q&A with Seth Rogen. If you're newer to the channel then you know that of course I love musical theater but I'm also a huge film and TV geek. I love this world so much and I'm such a super fan of it so I am just uh, so unbelievably excited to be doing this tonight. I got an email this morning and it's instructions on how to stream the premiere but it was written in character from Seth Rogen's character. But then at the very end, it's like, hey, you should make a drink while you watch the movie. You should drink a pickleback. I'm not sure what that is, but they included a link on how to do it. So I'm gonna check it out. Oh no, oh no. Is this for real what it is? I'm gonna do it. Oh, also, please don't mind the mess. We're repainting the whole house. Remember when my closet broke and I'm like, hey, I'm gonna redo my bedroom. My parents were like, you know, that's a great idea. Let's just, uh, let's just redo the whole house. We're gonna do shots first. Shots? Yeah, we're gonna do shots. What type of shots? We're gonna uh, drink some whiskey. Some whiskey? And pickle juice. Okay, let's go. <laughs> if you can't get excited about the little things in life, what can you get excited about? Oh my god. <laughs> Literally the video was just pouring whiskey into one shot glass and pickle juice into the other. I'm not much of a Jack Daniels drinker. I love Jack Daniels honey, but um just like straight regular whiskey I have not been doing a lot lately. I have a feeling that I'm either going to love this or I'm just going to immediately projectile vomit. Okay. Cheers to the premiere of an American pickle on HBO Max August okay. 6th. Okay. Let's do this. Okay. Okay, ready? Oh my god. That's pretty good. That's delicious. It is. Oh my god. I was not <gasps> anticipating that. That was amazing. Yeah, I would say let's do it again, but no, you need to <laughs> lock off on everything else. <laughs> How about I set up the stream and then we'll do another okay, shot that's, right that's before good. the movie? This is really good. Holy cow. Okay, if you're a whiskey drinker, you need to do this. This is so yummy. Okay, question of the day. If you are legal, what is your favorite chaser? If you are not legal, what is your favorite weird food drink combo? I'll answer both, but my favorite weird food drink combo, I'm one of those people who dips fries into milkshakes. Like I, I don't want a milkshake if I can't dip fries into it. Beverage wise, if I'm making myself a drink, it's usually a vodka soda sort of deal or Costco brand lemonade is just the best at everything. Also, just because we're here and I already pulled up the thing much faster and much easier than I thought it would be, let's talk about Folklore, Taylor Swift's new album. Something I realized this morning is, if you guys don't know, with Folklore, the whole idea is that Taylor is writing from the perspective of a bunch of different characters, including a teenage love triangle. You have the high school sweethearts and the other woman, and each of them has a song. You have Betty, Illicit Affairs, and Cardigan. Everyone assumes that Illicit Affairs is from the perspective of this other girl, but I think August is also her song. So now I'm curious, if 
if more than one song belongs to the couples because I think we all kind of assumed it was one song per character, but I don't think that's the case. Ooh, here we go. WM premiere. <gasps> okay, <laughs> oh my God, look at this picture, hang on. Sweet, sweet baby Seth Rogen. So the film starts at 7 p.m. We've got the live Q&A at 8.30. We can go to the message board or we can do the photo booth. Ooh, let's do both of those. Uh, yeah, you can use my camera. Go for it, HBO. If you wanna spy on me, HBO, like I will happily let you because introduce me to Evan Rachel Wood, please. Hang on, if we're doing like old country photos, we have to be like very, very serious because I feel like every old timey photo is very serious. Let's go to the message board. Ooh, oh my God, everyone's talking. This is gonna be interesting. Someone just said pickle time. Oh my goodness, so much pressure. I don't know what to say. Let's get this party started. My comment was submitted. Also, I don't know if I've made this clear, but this is not sponsored. I didn't have to vlog any of this, but this is just kind of like the coolest thing that I've done in several months. So I think I'm gonna clean up a little bit. I might put on some comfy clothes. I'm gonna grab some dinner. Not sure if I'm gonna grab another pickle back because I am still feeling the first very fully. I'm just, I'm just a barrel of monkeys. Kill me. Make sure I never say that ever again. Okay, bye. I have a leftover sandwich. What are you guys watching? Perry Mason. Perry Mason? What is ATO. Perry? HBO. <laughs> Just after I'm like, this isn't sponsored by HBO, my parents are over here watching Perry Mason. I love a good sandwich. And now I'm talking about how much I really enjoyed the movie with music that would definitely get me copywritten blasting in the background. Heyo. You. Oh my god. Oh my god, everybody's here. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I love them yeah. so much. Holy cow. How was it acting with yourself? Was it exhausting? I mean, were you a bad was were you a bad screen partner? Let's be honest. Uh no, I really enjoy it, honestly. And truthfully, like, other actors stress me out. And, like, it is probably one of, like, the overall most stressful elements of my job is dealing with other actors. I enjoyed the logistical challenge of it. I enjoyed, there were some scenes where I would improvise my half of the conversation and then leave pauses for myself to fill in as the other character and... Then I would come back month, months later sometimes and hear an improvised scene and then remember when I, the gaps I had left myself and what I was planning on filling in. And um, it was, it was a, a fun challenge for me. And, and I think it was using a lot of the tools that I've developed over the years, just making, you know, the different types of stuff we've been making. So I, I enjoyed that. Why, hello there, pal. What? So, now that it's a couple days later, I wanted to give you guys some final thoughts on An American Pickle. I thought it was really sweet. It was definitely not what I was anticipating. It's a much more quiet and emotional comedy than we're used to seeing from Seth. It feels a lot more indie. It's a big departure from their other works like Pineapple Express or Sausage Party. A theme that really resonated with me too is kind of this idea of connecting to your roots. I think a lot of us, especially like first generation kids have difficulty connecting to their roots because they want to Americanize themselves so much or at least in my experience that it's really cathartic and nice to kind of see a story about someone reconnecting with their uh, with their heritage and their family and tradition. That being said, I have got quite a few packages to unbox, including a ridiculously huge one from HBO, and I cannot believe HBO sent me this. But uh, let's go ahead and just start unboxing. Let's go ahead and open up this first one. Ooh, we've got some lashes from Lasheen. Ooh, interesting. These are definitely a bit thicker than I usually wear, but maybe I can do some kind of cool tutorial, maybe like a stage makeup-y or Halloween or just something really dramatic. Ooh, what else do we have in here? An eyeliner. Oh, this is my my favorite. I love like a good pen liquid liner. <gasps> this is like a jet black inky liner, which you usually don't see from a pen liner, which is my favorite way to put on eyeliner. So I am so excited for this and these lashes. So thank you so much, Lashine. I believe Lashine also sent over a discount code for you guys. So I will put that up on the screen right now. So thank you, Lashine, for sending over those goodies. Okay, let's do this one from, ooh, Good Molecules. I love me some Good Molecules. If you guys don't know 
them. They do um, really nice skincare, but at a really affordable price point. It's like a Scrabble board. We give our formulas away, every ingredient with every percent used. Okay, so we've got the Discoloration Correcting Serum. That is so cool. I think that's so important to know what exactly you're putting on your skin. Like one of my big goals is to actually create a sustainable skincare routine. I feel like in the past I would go through phases where I would be like really, really into skincare and then it would just be way too much and it would kind of make me drop off. So I've been working really hard to kind of stick to something and I can tell a huge difference in my skin, but this is so exciting. I can't wait to try this out. Thank you, Good Molecules. What else? Oh, we got a couple of packages from Glossier, but this is really taped on here. Maybe I should get a box cutter. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> you know, I actually had this conversation with myself a couple days ago. I was on Amazon looking at box cutters, wondering if that would help me open up packages. And then I realized I am way too clumsy to own a box cutter. We've got the new Vinylic Lip Creams. They sent me the shades Driver and Genius. Driver looks like it's gonna be really pretty for the fall and Genius looks very much like my kind of shade. And they look so classy and like a little bit vintage-y almost. It kind of reminds me of like when I was younger and I would play with my mom's lipstick. And then also from Glossier, ooh, a restock on the balm.coms. These are my favorite. I, no joke, have one on my person at all times. I feel like I can really tell a difference when I'm using it because my lips feel so much softer. These are my three favorite scents too, the coconut, the mint, and the rose. Probably some of my all-time favorite Glossier products. This Boy Brow and Gen G lipstick, top three. As always, I do have a discount over at Glossier, so if you wanna save some money and support the channel, you can use my link down below. Glossier is my boyfriend. Ooh, next up we've got a package from Curology. They do skincare and what's really cool is that they pair you up with a dermatologist online and you like answer questions and they put together a plan for you. These are the cleanser, the rich moisturizer, and then this is like the specially formulated serum that their dermatologists put together and it says cat steel on it. What? Again, I really like that they actually put the ingredients on here so that I know what I'm putting on my face. Whoa, that is so cool. Thank you so much, Curology. We've got a package, oh, from Hero Cream. Oh my goodness, I've been wanting to try them out. They are a CBD company that reached out to me. This one is for inflammation, joints and muscles, so like post-workout. And then this one is more of like a sleep remedy thing. And both of them are, wow, completely pure CBD with zero THC. That's so good. This one's 2,500 milligrams. This one's 1,750 milligrams. Something that I really like about Hero Cream is that they work with the Healing Hero Fund. I think this is so cool. The product looks really nice. I'm a big, big CBD fan. It's honestly been such a huge improvement in my life. I, uh, I tend to have a lot of anxiety and especially a lot of problems falling asleep, especially right now with everything going on. I feel like my my brain just never shuts off. So I'm always so excited to try out new CBD products. So thank you Hero Cream for sending this over. This is so awesome. Okay, I have to move some stuff out of the way because this PR package is ridiculous. I literally still can't believe this. HBO sent me a PR package and it's bigger than I am. So when they invited me to the virtual premiere for American Pickle, they were like, hey, we're gonna send you a swag box. And I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm so fancy. Maybe I'll get an HBO baseball cap. And uh, then this giant package got here and I'm like, wow, that's a lot of baseball caps. This is literally too big. Oh my God, <laughs> this is gonna decapitate me. They sent me a full pickle making kit. Here's a giant thing of canning and pickling salt. I don't even know where to put this. <laughs> oh shoot. <laughs> Sorry, Idina Menzel. A jar of sweet dilly zesty pickles. A bunch of salt that kind of leaked all around the top of it. Should I lick it? Probably not, right? Because I don't know where this salt's been. Distilled white vinegar. A mason jar with the American pickle logo on it. We've got some pickling cucumber seeds and some hybrid storage carrot seeds and some radish seeds. A bottle of seltzer, which is a joke from the movie. Not as a joke, seltzer is literally my favorite beverage. Like, I love a good sparkling water. If I could hook up seltzer to an IV and just kind of inject it intravenously, I'd be the happiest girl on the planet. Okay, I'm getting salt everywhere. <laughs> they also sent me this giant wooden 
garden box with instructions on how to turn this into a garden box. And then this big cookbook on DIY pickling. So the other thing that was in the box that I actually wasn't going to mention, but it's too funny not to mention, uh, they included a bunch of vegetables, like cucumbers and carrots and stuff like that so I could immediately start pickling. But I think the box came from the East Coast and I think there was a big storm on the East Coast, so by the time the vegetables got here, they were in less than ideal condition, a very squishy condition. Squishy condition is my new name, but I'm actually really excited and interested to try my hand at pickling That's not something I had ever really thought about and after reading some of the instructions I didn't realize how easy it is So that could be kind of like a fun little cooking project to do while we're all at home as you know I am a sucker for a good themed beverage gift what have you so this was very very funny to open so thank you HBO HBO Max Sam, Joy, everyone for sending this over because this gave me a real kick. I also got a couple of birthday presents. It's a uh, Colin Jost's new book, A Very Punchable Face, and then I got an electric toothbrush because I like oral hygiene. So thanks family for giving me some oral hygiene and Colin Jost. My two favorite things, truly. Ooh, if you made it this far into the video, let's do like a secret question so that no one will know what we're talking about. In the comments below, ready for this? Let me know what is your favorite like mall food court restaurant and what do you usually get? That's like a weird thing to read in a comment with no context. Probably stop by Panda Express, get some orange chicken and white rice. Or, oh my god, they used to do the sweet and sour soup. That was the bomb. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? It was like kind of spicy and it had tofu and mushrooms and oh my god, it was so good. Hot and sour. Did I say sweet and sour? It's hot and sour. R.I.P. and peace hot and sour soup at Panda Express. So let me know your mall food court order in the comments down below. I hope you guys are having a great day. I love you so, so much. Break a leg and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!